Okay, guys, let's do it! This is it. Now, it's funny because I've read a couple strategies. Oh, wait. Um. Well, you know, we'll find out in a second because we're going to be using the healing items. I was going to say, there's a couple chests here, so. There are, I know there's a couple that are good, or at least decent. Best. You. I heard you were going to have a wedding after this battle. There is no guarantee of coming back alive. Even if one of us dies, our bonds of fiction are forever. Sieg. Your eyes are already looking at our future. Then I will realize the future for you! Okie doke. I don't know what the hell that was. What is that in the stone? Is that a sword? Looks kind of like a red sword. A blood sword, perhaps? It kind of. Something. Oh, shit. It's moving. Oh, God. Ghosts! The ghosts are back. The pirate ghosts from the ship. It seems the souls of the soldiers who died in the drag cam dragon campaign have awakened. I guess so. And this thing is so badass. Okay, so meet your maker. This is the Polter Armor. That is the name of it. The Polter Armor. It is a, just a ghostly suit of armor. But, this is like the cream of the crop as far as gear goes. Like, this is... You're just fighting armor, but like, it is so ridiculously tough. Okay, so, I'll just show you real quick. So this thing has three parts. It has the helmet. The helmet, what that does is it blocks certain things that your party... Well, not actually your party, it's certain members. Um, like items attacking Dragoon Spirit, guarding, everything like that. And it just goes on a specific person. So, like, it will show, like, Albert, and it will, like, you know, no items. Doesn't mean that your whole party can't use items, just means Albert can't use items. So that's not too bad. If it was a whole party, I would say, go after this immediately. But since it's just one person, it's not that bad. Um, the armor casts magic. Powerful magic. I mean, like... You know, like, when you get the multi-target, it's multi-powerful magic, and it is extremely powerful. Like, the magic rating for this thing is through the roof. And then there's the sword, which just attacks, but when you kill it, it automatically instant kills you. Which is why I have the talisman on Dart, because I plan on him killing this. And I'm pretty sure the same thing with the armor goes. Whoever kills the armor, the sword kills. So, and the same with the helmet. So if you kill these two first, the sword will kill whoever killed those. So that's basically how that works. So this is why we want this stupid magic shield. So we can nullify... Oh, it's just on one person? Hmm. I honestly might do it on Miru. Um, I thought that was an all thing. Ooh! Whoopsie! Ah, boy. Because he's gonna get his turn, I think, next. Yeah, you know what? We'll do this. Watch, I, I guarantee it's going to be the, his attack. Yep, here we go. And there's one that can, I'm telling you, can instant kill. It's not this one, this is pretty powerful too, but there's a, uh, there's this one where it's like a moon. I, I don't know the name of it, it's a powerful dark magic though. And it is, yeah, look at this. And this thing goes like, just insane all the time. Okay, um, I actually don't want to go in a special. I want to just go in a Dragoon, so I can have someone healing, at least on the outside. Like, I want Miru to be healing, which is kind of why I decided to do the magic thing on there. Okay, start, You're gonna go Final Burst on the armor. Now, it's weird because the a lot of the strategies I was reading said to go after the sword, but I don't see any reason to go after the sword. It does the least amount of anything towards it. And just the only reason is probably because it doesn't instant kill you when you kill the other things. But, I don't know. I don't get it. I, the armor is clearly the, the most threatening of all the things. Yeah, the helmet's even really not that bad. Okay, and then we got Albert. We can throw you on right away. We'll get uh, Rose Storm going. Just so we don't get uberly killed, we'll just get kind of killed. 
But yeah, I, I, I died on this fight actually a couple times, just testing out a couple different things, and this seemed to be the best party. I had Hashel in here for a little while because originally I had Miru with the therapy ring, and then immediately he did the, uh, like before even she got a turn, they went, and it did that one while I was telling her with like the wolf, and it instantly killed her, and then it like kind of had everyone else down pretty low, because um, I don't think I had Dart with the uh, that helmet that's given him like the extra HP. Um, okay, what should you do? You should definitely use your attack items. We're good with health right now. Let's do uh, let's do burning wave. Why the hell not? Yeah, just be careful you don't kill any of these things without her. Because then we'll be stuck with a dead Miru. And no way to heal ourselves. But we, we got a little bit till that can happen. Just keep an eye on it though. That's all I'm really saying. Not bad, not bad. That works. I can handle it. See, look. This is the sword. That's what the sword does. That's it. Besides instantly killing people. That is all it does. Um... Your turn again? Well, why the hell not? Powerful light attack. See, now when it does the three turns, I'm not sure if it counts. Well, I'm assuming it counts all his turns. But you never know. Ooh, that was good. That was very good. Actually, you know, that sword might be close to dying. Is that true? No? Okay, the armor though, that's getting close. Good. Just beat the hell out of this thing. As fast as you humanly can. I'm telling you, once we get this down, it's gonna be a piece of cake. And just make sure that whoever you have the talisman on kills it, because I'm pretty sure the sword will kill you. Will kill you! Oh man. So, uh, guess what came in the mail? Approximately three, four days ago. It rhymes with Pax Badge. Yep. My fucking Pax East Badge finally came in the mail, and I am just ridiculously excited about it. Like, I can't even express in words. Like, I don't know, what, when did I... I bought the ticket and, like, the room and everything just forever ago. Oh, the magic shield is so good. Um, Polter, yes. Okay. Let's go for a fiver. One, two, three, four. Oh, almost. But yeah, I mean, like, I bought that so long ago, and it's just been, like, the slowest moving few months, like, of my life. And, um, I don't know. Just to see that badge is just, like, in my hands and saying, like, oh, yeah, it's coming up soon. Like, oh, man, it's exhilarating, to say the least. Uh, let's see. Hmm, I might kill the armor. Uh, let's see. What can you do, Miru? You could just attack the helmet. Why oh, not? Let's do that. Do a little bit of something. Why not? You're not too weak. Yeah, no, stun is not going to work in this fight. Ha! You are weak! Weak! Command blocking. Yeah, here we go. Hopefully it's not magic on dart. Okay, anything I'm... Item? Mm, that's not good either. Good. Albert should be getting out of his thing now, soon, so that's alright. We just need to survive a little bit. Just make a little love, get down tonight. Okay, so... This shouldn't kill the armor, but I just want to weaken it. Please gamble work. I just want to make sure that Dart can kill it on his next attack. We good? Uh, okay, yeah, we're good. I was just like, waiting for something to happen. Oh, no, nah, we should be good. I think our magic shield should be working still. I hope. Nope! Ouch. That hurt a lot. Okay, Dart, please kill this fucking thing now. <laughs> Even if Dart doesn't kill it, I'll sacrifice Albert. I don't care. Actually, I don't know if that's smart. Hmm. 
I would do it if Miru could heal him. And Dark's gonna be in Dragoon another two turns. It stinks he can't get out of it. He can't just like choose the option to like be getting like get out of Dragoon. Alright, die. Die you piece of armor. Please! Yes! There we go, now watch. Sword, do your thing. Yep, this is it. It's kinda creepy attack. Reminds me of uh like what the hell? Like what is this? <laughs> this is a demon hand that takes love What are you doing? What the fuck? What the fuck was that? What what what? <laughs> are you kidding me, game? You sons of bitches! Okay, okay, you wanna play that game? We'll, we'll play that game. You bastards! I can't believe that just happened. That has not ever happened where it has not killed the person that killed the thing. It's always been like that. Except, well, I mean, apparently not anymore, but... That was stupid. Okay, well, at least Albert's... At least don't block his item. Please don't block his item. It would not be sanitary. Or kosher, or whatever you want to call it. Okay. Now this could be bad. You know what, I'm actually going to attack the sword. Because now I now it has that random attacking thing apparently. So it could just kill Albert and then I'd be stuck with just dart. Which I mean wouldn't be the most terrible thing in the world. I could just revive them both, but... Jeez, that was insane. I can't believe that happened. Please. Let Albert... Not get his item blocked. Okay, cool. Eh, that stinks. But oh well, I can deal with it. So what do I gotta use? Flame shot. Sorry about that. Um. Okay, Miru, where's you? Um. There we go. And now we're all peachy keen. Peachy like a bunch of peaches. Are you allowed to describe a peach as peachy? You know how like you're not allowed to describe words using the word? Does that count? Because it's like a different meaning. It's not like... You know what I mean? It's two different words. Where did that thought even come from? What? Oh, that was just regular attack. Okay, it doesn't count dragon attack. That's cool. Me likey breadsticks. Me likey breadsticks. Perfect! Yes! Awesome. A little overkill, but whatever. I'm always happy when I can get a perfect on that. Explosion, my call bay. And who are you gonna randomly kill this time, sword? Please just kill who you're supposed to kill. That'd be very nice of you. Right, you are gonna no okay, never mind, you're not gonna do your thing. Okay, now the fight is easy. See, you just gotta get rid of that armor. And see if you didn't like come into this fight not knowing like you, you can get just get destroyed like I even somewhat knew what to expect when I was doing the practice run and it murked me. Oh, hello. Wait, is this gonna be uh Is this gonna happen all the time now or something? Or did his death um counterattack from the helmet just get delayed? Nice, there we go. Thank you for attacking him. Okay, now we just need to pound this thing to death. I just hope it's Dart that can get the final hit. That would be very appreciated. I don't know if there's any counterattacks either with this thing. I don't think there is. That's not bad. I should probably power him up. So weak. Pathetic little sword. You call that a sword? This is a sword. Okay, you know what? That's what we'll do. Uh, we will power up Dart. And if need be, we will speed him up too if it's Mira's turn, which it is. 
And this guy is Donzo. I just hope he doesn't kill one of the other two before this fight ends. Because I would like for them to get the experience. I don't think it's a crazy amount. I think it's like 9,000 or something like that. But I mean, still, it's good. Dead? Hey, look at Sword. I think it's dead. Kill Dart. Kill Dart. Kill Dart. Kill Dart. Kill Dart. Kill Dart. Kill. Kill. It's like my Planet of the Apes um, chant. Yeah, there we go. And die. Yes! Awesome! We got through unscathed for the most part. Not too bad. Alright, we got a smoke ball, which we've had before, and the, oh, 6,000 experience. And the Soul Eater, which is an awesome, powerful sword for Dart. And the way it works, because it has the name Soul Eater, it's, like I said, it's kind of like the Blood Sword. It doesn't drain the enemy's HP, it drains your HP. That's kind of what, like, the price is for, you know, having a good sword. It just takes away your HP, but, uh... Here, let's see what's in these things. Panic Bell, yeah, see? These are the craft items, I mean. They're just status effect items. There we go, Armor of Yore. That's the good one. It, um... What does it do? It has some effect. I think it doesn't let you get status effects or something to that effect. Uh... Who should wear that? Probably Albert. Yeah, Armor of Yore. Avoids Poison, Stun, and Arm Block. Pretty useful, pretty useful, and it's just better overall. Wait, you had the chainmail? Why didn't you have the saint armor on? The hell? Did I forget to buy the saint armor for you? You don't have the saint armor either. What the F? Both of you should have the saint armor. What are you doing? Okay, so, yeah. This is how powerful this thing is. It's powerful, but HD decays. But if you have the therapy ring, then you are golden. Yeah, look at that. It's tempting to put that much attack on him, but... Nope. There we go. 75. With just the sword. So, very, very powerful. Considering everyone else's is low. Even Kongol. Um... Wait, what's I gonna do? You got the spiritual ring. We can... Eh, I guess we can leave that. Um... Well, what do you, what do you have on? Night, night, therapy, you need... She can keep the physical, or should she get the attack badge? Nah, ba -ba -ba -ba. Now let's have a little fun. You can get the attack badge and just start destroying things even more than you already are. Um, let's go back to spinning cane, cold boogie, moon strike, uh, summon four gods. Okay, cool. We're done, so. For the most part, let's use a breeze. Alrighty, now, um, that's right, I got those crap items. I'll just show you what's in them. It's like the panic bell was that dude. It, it gives, puts fear on an enemy, like it's so useless. Poison needle, poisons an enemy. And then I think the other one is maybe stun or something, I don't know. Um, let's see. Let's get rid of this junk. Smoke ball. It's kind of junk. Really don't want that at all. Bird, we're good. All right, and that's it for really this area. It's just that boss fight and to get the sword. But I think it's worth it because the sword is very good. Although it kind of keeps you from uh, keeps you from putting in an extra uh, accessory slot, which is kind of stinks. You're just like negative in that area. Well, not negative, but like on par. <laughs> and I remember when I first played through this game, I was still like pretty young, like in like I didn't really played many RPGs before this. It was like before this, it was Final Fantasy VII, eight in like maybe like a Breath of Fire game or something along those lines, but not really much. Um, so like. You know, like, when I fought a tough boss battle, I got my ass handed me. And for a good while, too. That was just, like, the theme. Um, until I just kind of learned uh, how to do it. What am I doing here? I'm just talking. Okay. Uh, yeah. One Hashlin. 
And I also want him to have the physical ring. But yeah, like, oh my gosh, this boss fight. I don't even know if I actually beat this guy. I may have. Like, I, I think I had. I think I bought the strategy guide. Well, I, I have the strategy guide, but I think that was the reason I bought the strategy guide was because of uh, that asshole. Hmm? I don't know. I'll show you my like problem though with the soul eater really quick though. Okay, so say we didn't put that on and we had what we had on. We had the what the hell is it? The mind crush, and then you do the attack badge. Wherever it is, you have it. Ugh, do I really have to take it off? Okay, well, it would raise 20 on that, so it would be up to 54, which it would be, you know, like, instead of 106, it would be from now, oh, I don't know, it would be another 20, so it would be 126. Uh, it just, I don't know if it's worth it in times, like, especially boss battles. Boss battle, I think it's worth it now, but during boss battles, I don't know, because Dark, for the most part, he's always in Dragoon form. And if you have on the right things, you can always be on Dragoon form. Um, so that's the weird thing, like about it. Like it's it's an amazing weapon, but the drawback is pretty pretty extensive. I mean, giving up your accessory slot it's pretty important in this game. Okay, so enough chitter chatter, enough chitter chatter. Uh, let's head to Velweb, home of the spiders. I hope not. Oh, sorry guys. Okay, so uh, it's going to probably look a little weird since I'm all the way up here and it just kind of jumped. Um, I just got an awesome, awesome email. Okay, so you know how I posted the video submission that I sent into the job I'm trying to get? Well, she just ailed me. Uh, ailed me. She, she emailed me back just like, I don't know, like um, maybe 20 minutes ago and I didn't really look at it because we were in the middle of that boss fight. But uh, yeah, she just said that... Um, She's just like, yeah, we like the video and everything. Here, I'll say, we like your video and would like to set up an initial phone interview. This interview usually takes about 30 to 45 minutes and will be either me or with one of our creative directors, depending on availability. And then they're basically just asking me when I'm available and to send me a copy of my resume. So, oh my gosh, that is a relief and a half. I've been waiting for this email, like, for over a week now, almost two weeks. And... Oh, that's that sounds like a good sign. I mean, in an interview, I'm not not worried about an interview at all. I think I do pretty good on interviews for the most part, so that I'm not too worried about. Now, that's all I just needed a chance with, really, is to get like something like that. You know, the the worst possible scenario was this and be like, oh, sorry, we were gonna we're gonna go somewhere else, you know. But uh, this this gives me hope at least. <laughs> oh man, that was amazing. Sorry, now I'm just flustered and fucking up everything. Um, so yeah, so I think I'm going to have to cut. I was going to get all the way to Velweb, um, this recording, but... Oh yeah, and there's Moonstrike, by the way. I don't know if you've seen it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to get up to... I was going to get up to Velweb, but now, not necessarily. I want to email her back before I go to work, and... Uh, I still need to like get ready and stuff for work too, so um, we'll just get up to here. I'll rest at that thing, and then um, we'll call it a day. Well, I'll call it a day. This will be episode whatever seventy-seven. I don't know, something like that. Actually, are we already at seventy-seven? No, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe we can get this LP done in like 105 parts. I think that's probably how long this is going to be, which is crazy long, but... Ugh. I mean, for my first really long RPG, I guess it's not terribly bad. I could have probably used my time a little more efficiently, but oh well. Alright, guys. Um, yeah, for next time on Let's Play Legend of Dragoon, we'll make our way all the way to Velweb in actually the finale of Chapter... 3? Yeah, chapter three, and then we'll move on to chapter four, disc four. So, all right, guys, can't uh, can't wait, and we'll see you next time. Later.